Everybody seems to have an opinion one way or the other about the recent chain of events that have unfolded in Happy Valley. Joe Paterno's termination over a former assistant coach's alleged sexual abuse of a child has many spectators and fans demonizing him for not acting on the situation back in 1998. Others, on the flip side, seem to victimize Paterno for the manner in which he may have been relieved and for being punished for an act he neither committed nor witnessed. While the severity of what transpired under Paterno's watch goes far beyond the realm of football or even sports in general, it leaves more salt on the wound that has become false idols in sports. The past decades, fans have witnessed the dominant rise and the sudden fall of some of the greatest names sport has ever produced. We watched 14-time All-Star Barry Bonds through his magical 2001 season in which he broke Roger Maris' single-season home run record and through 2007 when he set the all-time home run record only to see his career end in front of a judge for alleged steroid use. We witnessed one of the greatest pitchers baseball has ever seen in Roger Clemens win two World Series, six Cy Young Awards, and earn 11 All-Star bids, only to see him end his career in the same place as Bonds, in front of a grand jury denying steroid use. In 1996, Tiger Woods, with his Hello World, emerged as what seemed to be golf's savior. Not only did his brilliant game and flair for the dramatic lead him 14 major titles, Woods transcended the game beyond one negatively associated with race and financial class. And then in 2010, Woods admitted to numerous extramarital affairs, almost making him a punchline in the game. Many argued Kobe Bryant would emerge as basketball's next Michael Jordan, but his alleged sexual assault incident in 2003 left his otherwise flawless reputation heavily scarred. As head coach at Penn State, Joe Paterno led the Nittany Lions to two national titles and over 400 wins. Even more than the results he produced on the field, Paterno has been known for his character and moral standards off the field. It's taken Paterno all of his 46-year tenure as head coach to build what has become his legend in the game of college football, and yet it took him only a split-second lapse in judgment to have it all come crashing down. With the fall of Paterno, yet another giant in sport has seemingly left his loyal following down. At this point, it might be fair to ask, who's next?